Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the French Academy of, of Medicine for inviting me to learn and to share our experience on what we are doing in Africa, Tanzania. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to uh, tell you that Tanzania is one of the East African countries. Uh, the capital city is, da is Dodoma and no longer Dar es Salaam, as everybody know, I think. And uh, we have a population of about uh, 50 million and with the an annual growth of 2.9. So the Regional Dermatology Training Center is located at Moshi, at the bottom of mountain Kilimanjaro, which is the highest mountain in Africa. So this is the Regional Dermatology Training Center in Moshi. Uh, and this was formed in 1992 as one of the IFD flagship. Uh, by then, uh, they realized that in, in Africa, there were lack of dermatological service, whereby uh, they were, for example, in Tanzania, there were very few dermatologists by then, I think two dermatologists. And uh, they decided to have several uh, objectives in order to combat the common skin diseases in Africa. So they had uh, long-term objective and short-term objective. And uh, they uh, had a partnership with Ministry of Health, International Foundation of Dermatology, and Good Samaritan Foundation. On those uh, objectives, I'll highlight the two objectives, which uh, one long, uh, short term and one long term. The short term was to establish a community dermatologist who will identify and treat the most common uh, skin diseases in Africa, whereby they will train a certain cadre according to the different countries, like a nurse practitioner, clinical officer, or assistant medical officer. This was depending on each country which were participate, East and Central Africa. So they designed a course of two years of advanced diploma in dermatovenereologist, whereby these people were subjected for two years to be trained in the common skin diseases and how to identify them, how to treat them, and when to refer them for further management. And during uh, uh, 1992, uh, up to now, we have trained 272, uh, 73 uh, community dermatology in 17 countries. And the long-term uh, goal was to establish a cadre, a resident cadre, where they get a degree, master's degree, to be able to supervise the community dermatology in the peripheral. Because it was clear that then that uh, if you, you train people who will not be able to stay in the, in the community, it will not reach the goal. So this is among the first uh, IFD uh, members. You can see Professor Grossman, who is the founding principal of the Regional Dermatology Training Center, Professor Ryan, who was the chairman of IFD. So from, from that time, uh, the, the resident program started in 1998. And up to now, we have trained 29 consultants from seven countries. So this is uh, the Arabic Sea is within the Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center, which is one of the partner of the regional training uh, center. And we have the Tumaini University within them. So uh, in Regional Dermatology Training uh, Center, we, we offer several uh, uh, activities, service, whereby uh, the key ones are patient care, research, and training. We, we have been able to accomplish this because of having some few subunits. We had to establish some few subunits, such as inpatient, outpatient, dermatosurgery, histopathology, up to the uh, Kilisan, uh, sunscreen production unit. I will highlight a few of them, like uh, 
we had to come up with a dermatosurgery because we have a very large popul uh, population of albinos, people living with albinism, who develop quite a lot of cancer and they require a lot of uh, surgery to treat them. Among that, we, we, we also developed uh, a compounding unit because, uh, as you know, that uh, most of the skin patients are very poor and the medication are quite expensive. You can imagine that a tube of 30 gram will be sold maybe approximately, I would say, five euros. That is 30 gram. But a patient with exfoliative skin disease completely the body will require more than that for a day. So we designed a compounding uh, a unit whereby we compound our own uh, medication. At least like uh, 200 gram, we will sell them about six uh, euro. So it, it keeps us going. Also, I, will, I highlight the, uh, the Kilimanjaro sun, sunscreen production unit. We, we have, uh, as I said, we have a, a lot of uh, albino in Tanzania. And we used to, re to receive a lot of sunscreen uh, as a donation from outside, but we came to realize that it was quite difficult to, to, to clear it from the TRA, Tanzania Revenue uh, Authority. Some of the donations we used to get, they were about to expire. And uh, sometimes it costed almost more than uh, buying a, a finishing product. So we, we, we started our, our own uh, sunscreen production unit, uh, as you'll see during my presentation, and we are doing our own sunscreen. So during formation of this uh, community dermatologist, we, we have designed a, a, a STI clinic whereby they have to, to, to go through it, lepros, uh, uh, centers, they have to visit lepro center, they have to be trained to identify the cases, to treat the, 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 the cases, and to refer those who are likely to develop co uh, complication. Community dermatologist is one of the outreach we are also carrying out because these people, when they graduate, they are expected to go to the community and save the community. So they have to identify the very common uh, conditions such as uh, uh, fungal infection, scabies, and treat them accordingly. We run outreach and albino, uh, uh, we run outreach clinic, uh, albino outreach clinic, and serodema pigmentosum outreach clinic, so that when these community dermatologists, they go to the peripheral, they are now able to establish at least a small clinic and do what we have been training them to do. We also receive quite a number of elective students from different uh, uh, countries who are learning about tropical dermatology. Also, we conduct international CME in Tanzania, whereby majority of the dermatologists are coming for, for, for the international conference. And we run international uh, workshop for Eastern Central Africa for the dermatologists to acquire other knowledge such as uh, dermatopathology and dermatosurgery, which they didn't uh, got during their training. So uh, as you can see, this is uh, some of the uh, residents in training, seeing patients. You can see we have our own uh, uh, medical uh, ward. Uh, you can see this is one of the down there. You can see this is one of the International Conference, Pedro Hein from Spain is teaching other doctors from East and Central Africa. And during our outreach clinic, we usually go locally within Northern Zone. Uh, we reach the patient, we have satellite clinic, we have programmed a outreach clinic for a year. We know exactly when are we going where, and students are scheduled, resident, community dermatologists, they are scheduled in this outreach. And usually we give prior announcement before going there. So during there, well, they, they are given uh, counseling about um, how can sun uh, affect them, how to prevent themselves. They have to use wide breed uh, head, they have to use long sleeve head, uh, short, 
They have to use uh, long sleeve trousers in order to protect themselves from getting cancers. And this is we are we are training the the resident by uh, there is resident and community dermatology by doing it so that when they go back they are able to to do this under supervision of the next group. So so far we have uh, managed to reach uh, 29 uh, region in Tanzania. We have 27 region, and we are supplying sunscreen. Uh, also, we are doing uh, telepathology with uh, Guadalajara, whereby we see quite a number of difficult uh, uh, cases to interpret, and we, we have this connection every Monday with Jesus Cueva from Spain, whereby we discuss a uh, difficult slide, which our pathologists are not sure, because most of African countries they, they are general pathologists. They don't, they, we don't have dermatopathologists. And we are now having a program whereby we have trained almost uh, uh, six or five uh, dermatopathologists from Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda, and Malawi. Also, this is what I was talking about. We do our own compounding medication. Uh, we have our small unit whereby we, we are doing our compounding. Uh, this is during the training. You can see Professor Masenga during the major world round is teaching the resident. Dr. Jerim Shana is also teaching the advanced diplomas. And also, uh, we have focus session and, saving and, and uh, presentation whereby the resident, they have to present, and uh, this is how they learn. We have also a phlebology in our service, whereby we are training the residents so that they can be able later to supervise uh, the community dermatology. We are doing also immunofluorescence for the Bullas disease, which are quite a lot in Tanzania. We have a legology unit also. And this is uh, my group of residents who we have also achieved now to have a group which will be able to supervise the community dermatology. These residents, when they finish, they're coming from different countries, but those who are coming from Tanzania, when they finish, they go to the regional and referral hospital, and they, co they, they, they are supposed to supervise the uh, community dermatologists from where they are so that uh, they can do what uh, is expected to do. This is uh, on the left is Professor Henning Grossman, who is the founder of the Regional Dermatology Training Center. And that is Professor Masenga, who is a past uh, principal, and I'm, a, I'm currently the principal of the Regional Dermatology Training Center. So thank you very much, and uh, you are warmly welcome to Tanzania.